Oh, okay. You said it's gonna be out in 2022, is that correct? 2020 this year. Oh, okay. 2021 year old. Okay. Yeah. It's about 110, 20,000. I think so, like 110 starting. Okay. Hey, <laughs> if you get it, why? <laughs> why not? Hello folks, this is AL Automotive Reviews and I want to wish everybody that they're uh, doing healthy. Remember to wash your hands, um, stay safe distance from everybody, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now this is a 2020 Lexus LC 500 convertible and these are some things that you need to know about it. Uh, for the recent Los Angeles uh, auto show, Lexus flew in all the uh, their top engineers responsible for the 2020 Lexus LC 500 convertible. To explain the car and what makes this gorgeous drop top a worthy ri rival to the BMW 8 Series. And hopefully everybody listened good when they were there, uh, you know, about this LC convertible. And basically, and the car is awesome. Um, now, the Lexus folks says that there is a likelihood of a high performance F variant of the LC convertible, and this is going to go against the BMW M8. Now, <laughs> the LC8 8 series rival, now the LCF coupe is on the horizon, but the Lexus officials have yet to formally acknowledge the project pressed over hypothetical LCF convertible. Those same Lexus representatives expressed concerns over packaging and go fast gear into the ruthless LC body fair body. Now they're saying that it's fair and they ask about the possibility of dusting off the LFA which is an awesome car, the V10, and making it better but they said no that's not gonna happen and the Lexus also chose not to not to do a hybrid now the LC coupe is currently offered with a hybrid powertrain and it's the LC 500H which stands for hybrid so it stands to reason that the Lexus could easily create an LC 500H hybrid convertible and they said no to that now the convertible soft top folds down right into the space where the hybrid coupe battery lives and the forward portion of the trunk. The good news is that the convertible top uh, could be takes up the same amount of space as does the LC 500H battery. So those two LCs have identical trunk space. Now this car <laughs> also has um, good torsion rigidity. Now cutting the roof off a coupe of this size generally you know decreases the torsion rigidity by 50 percent. But Lexus recovers 75 to 80 percent of the lost rigidity by installing a series of diagonal steel reinforcements to the underbody and adding a sheet plate. Now the engineer stressed what's more important and a foot pound and degree twist number is the fact that the handling demeanor of the coupe is retained at least at speeds and handling limits typically probed by convertible users. Now, a long time Toyota Lexus racing driver and ride handling consultant named Scott Pruitt assures that the car responds superbly to brisk drives on the twisty roads. Now this car also has what they call reduced unsprung weight. Now the LC500 convertible teams was very concerned about limiting the convertible's uh, weight gain to roughly only 200 pounds and preserving the coupe's weight distribution, which consistently measured at 53% front and 47% rear. Now some of the weight savings was an unsprung weight, which improves ride quality as well. Up front steel control arms were replaced with aluminum or aluminium while the rear the wheels were machined to remove excess weight. Now in the end the convertible front rear weight distribution reportedly comes in at 52-48% 
and that's 52 front and 48% rear. Now on the trunk lid, Uh, panel and the door inner panels are pressed and forged carbon fiber and finished in glossy resin that highlights the material. Now the coupe also forms these panels of forged carbon fiber. Now as far as vibration and absorption for this car, uh, the rear bumper being is attached to a vibration absorption uh, damper that allows a mass of the bumper being to counteract the body vibrations excited by the road inputs uh, to the suspension so there's somehow some connection between that and that. that's some crazy technology now this car also has uh, neck rumors and speakers on the front seat occupants get a little hair dryer in each headset headrest so if you're going to work and your hair is wet you know you turn that on it's going to help dry it uh, which clicks on whenever the Lexus Climate Concierge decides a bit of neck warmth is called for. The same areas in the rear seats are occupied by speakers, a dozen of which the base stereo uses, while the Mark Livingston system gets 13 speakers. Now with this car, you also get exclusivity. Now Lexus expects to sell 400 to 600 convertibles per year in the U.S. We should keep them nice and rare on the roadways. And we should, should also increase the uh, resale price as well. Now the structural blue, pump, uh, blue paint. Our structural blue paint. Now what's up with the name on the Special Inspiration Series car paint? First, it's engineered in layers, layers inspired by what some brilliant uh, blue butterflies like the Morpho achieve their appearance. We're told it's almost completely absorbed red light. If this ends up providing LIDAR speed detection, stealth, which is nice, that paint could easily pay for itself. So we don't know how this paint <laughs> responds to uh, the LIDAR system that police officers use to determine speed. So there's a lot to this baby. And there's a lot to this Lexus. Let's see what other things we can find out about this convertible. Now, if you like the uh, bold blue and white skiing pack, then you know that that's going to be limited to 100 units. Now, This convertible is nice. It's a jaw-dropping design, wrist-sounding engineer, and has extravagant interior. Now, it has an overweight look, um, and it's sharper than it drives, and automatically, and it's got also that hybrid version we talked about earlier. It has looks to kill, and the and, and people what people say it has too much, too much weight to fully thrill. Now, now, what people are saying about the 2020 um, LC is that it's a stunning example of contemporary design with sleek bodywork and subtle details that wouldn't be out of place on the concept car, while the Lexus sports car has a healthy curb weight and an uninspired hybrid powertrain. It also has a mighty V8 that sounds great and one of the nicest interiors on the planet. The only other uh, bad thing on this beauty are the frustrating infotainment system and a small trunk. The LC is the most desirable Lexus in a, in a long time. It accelerates on command and drives with a feeling of sol solidity. Of solidity. Now, the 2020 LC could be lighter and a little more athletic, but it's guaranteed to make its driver look and feel like a movie star. So those are some of the positives about the car. Now, uh, for the 2020, uh, the Lexus is going to be uh, making small changes to the LC500 and the LC500H. While both are mechanically identical to the previous model year, 
they receive small updates and among them are a check fuel cap light and the gauge cluster as well as a reverse tone change for intimate for intermittent to single uh, flare yellow is a newly available paint color and that's what we see right here and the blind spot monitoring uh, becomes standard there's also a new limited edition model called LC Inspiration Series that only comes in distinct nori green paint but only a hundred copies will be sold now the convertible model will join this is a 2021 and it's going to join a lineup soon it's not in dealerships yet but it will be so what an amazing car and folks I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, and last but least uh, the Lexus designer his name is Tedio Mori and revealed that he revealed this LC convertible at the Los Angeles show now a production version of this concept will be exhilarating in many different ways the concept is exhilarating so much that we like to apply the same present tense to a status as to this production vehicle so far this show car is going to definitely make um, definitely going to be coming out in 2021 and it should be coming out soon I don't know the exact date it's going to hit the dealerships but overall I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the Lexus LC500 convertible and thanks for watching and stay healthy if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.